oops. What's going on guys? So I'm finally now off pain pills. I'm feeling better. I can walk around the house pretty easily. And I just now have motivation to really do videos and to edit and do all this stuff. So I decided what I'm gonna do was do this Instagram Q&A. Now tons of you guys submitted questions. I think there's like 1,500 questions submitted into the Instagram, but there's this huge common theme that was showing up. The same, pretty much three questions always popped up again and again and again. Number one is what is the most important aspect or the most important thing to train in order to become a pro soccer player. Number two was how do I get faster? And number three is how much should I train as a 13, 14, 15 year old kid? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this up into three videos, each focused on each one of these questions. This video, we're gonna talk about the most important aspect of professional soccer. Let's go. Now this video is kinda gonna be clickbait because there is no most important aspect of becoming a pro soccer player. But before you click away, before you get mad, I wanna break this down and really answer this question of why there isn't a most important aspect. So why is there not a most important aspect? Well, because you need to have everything. Everything needs to be at least at a pro standard for you to become a pro. I don't care if you're a center back, you should still be able to dribble the ball, pass the ball, and shoot on goal like an attacking player can. It might not be as good as them, but you should still be proficient at that level. Look at the defenders at the highest level, Sergio Ramos. His dribbling and his shot are at pretty much at the level of other strikers at a lower level. His baseline score across the board is like a 70. All his skills are at a 70, and then yes, his 1v1 defending, his heading, his long ball distribution is all in the 90s. But everything else is at least at a 70, and that's how you become a pro. Even at the lower tiers, me playing second division soccer in the US, I've noticed that all the players can pass, they have a good first touch, they can dribble. Everybody can do a step over move. Everybody can juggle up to a thousand. Everybody is proficient at everything. They're all like a 50 or a 60 at every single skill. And then depending on their attributes and depending on their position, they're specialized in certain areas. So you should never just focus on one area because if a player comes in and tries out for our team and he is the best dribbler in the world, but this guy can not do a one touch pass or for whatever reason he cannot defend at all to save his life we're not gonna want him on our team because in soccer you need to do so many different aspects. I don't care if you're a center forward you're still gonna be defending. If you're a center back you're still gonna be dribbling. I don't care if you're right back, you're still gonna need good vision. If you're a center man, you're still gonna need decent athleticism and speed. But again, in all these positions, it doesn't need to be your best attributes because you do specialize, but you need to be proficient. So when you're younger and you're training, all your skills are probably below that proficiency level of being a pro. All your skills are in the 20s and 30s in terms of the FIFA rating. So what you need to do is you need to train all those up to at least the professional proficiency level in order to be able to even hold your own ground at the professional level and then you can start specializing and doing this in certain areas. But if you think you can just work on your dribbling and shooting and get up to the pro level without spending any time focusing on your first touch or your passing or your defending or your athleticism or your strength or anything, then you're completely wrong. Soccer is a very simple game, but to be good at playing simply, you need to be good at many, many things. So I hate this of what should I focus on or what is the one drill or the one thing that I need to do in order to become a pro. Because the one thing you need to do is be proficient at everything. So that's the video. I know this might be a very simple topic. I know many of you probably already know this, but this is the most common question that I was asked on this Instagram Q&A. So I wanted to address this in a larger video. Again, I will be talking about how to get faster. And what was the other one? What was the last thing? Oh, how much you should train as the 13, 14, 15 year old kid in separate videos that will follow along with this series. But this is gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video of this series and hopefully on the next video of my whole YouTube channel because now you guys have subscribed and liked the video. So thank you for that. All right guys, peace.